It all started with one half of a five-pound note. In June of 1936, two foreigners, George Hattem and Edgar Snow, checked into a hotel in Xi'an. They wanted to reach Yan'an, the city in which the headquarters of the Chinese Red Army was located. They didn't know how they could get there, until a Chinese man showed up with one half of a five-pound note. The fact was, Hatem and Snow had the other half of the same five-pound note, given to them as a secret key by Madame Song Ching Ling, who had written to Mao Zedong earlier, recommending the two Americans, a doctor and a journalist, to visit Yan'an. So, as the two halves were pieced together, Hatem and Snow found the right person to take them to their destination. They were among the first foreigners to set foot in the headquarters of the Red Army. It was also this trip that enabled Snow to write Red Star Over China, which made him a best-selling author among the Western public. The trip's impact on Hatem was equally profound, if not deeper. Their visit was originally set for three months, but near the end of the journey, Hatem decided to stay. He also gave himself a Chinese name, Ma Hai De, and accepted the offer to serve as a public health advisor. It was Hatem who introduced a group of international medical professionals, including Canadian surgeon Norman Bethune and German physician Hans Müller, to China. They supported China's war efforts until the country was finally able to enjoy peace after the founding of the People's Republic of China and helped to lay the foundation for a new public healthcare system. In 1950, Hatem became the first foreigner to obtain a Chinese citizenship. He had married his Chinese wife ten years earlier, and together they had two children. Hatem spent the rest of his life in China, devoted to the treatment of leprosy, until his death in October 1988.